On August 1st, 2012, birth control became officially covered by health insurance. When this happened, Pennsylvania Republican Representative Mike Kelly said this statement. I know in your mind you can think of times America was attacked. One is December 7th. That is Pearl Harbor Day. Another was September 11. That was a day the terrorists attack. I want you to remember August 1st, 2012, the attack on our religious freedom. That is a date that will live in infamy, along with those other dates. Republican Representative Mike Kelly. I don't see the resemblance at all with Pearl Harbor 9-11 and giving free birth control. I just don't see it. I don't understand how you can see it, Kelly, but I obviously can't see it. One was a major attack by the Japanese and Pearl General Headquarters against the United States Naval Base in Hawaii of 1991. The second one was just a terrorist attack by a squad of Saudi Arabians working out of Pakistan, Afghanistan, and Germany, killing many American citizens. Over 2,977, I believe. I'm not exactly sure of the number, but that is the number I've seen and read. And the latter was women's rights moving up on a totem pole. Just because you believe in something doesn't mean that others are supposed to believe it. Just because you believe something doesn't mean that people should live by your rules. Doesn't mean you can dictate others. Doesn't mean you can pass legislation against other people. Birth control is helpful in many ways to women, and not just for preventing pregnancies. This is from the Planned Parenthood website. It's great for reduce regulating periods. It's great for making periods lighter, helping reduce menstrual cramps, offer some prevention against pelvic inflammatory disease, which, by the way, often leads to infidelity when left untreated. It helps protect against acne, bone thinning, atropic pregnancy, I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly, endometrial and ovarian cancers, iron deficiency anemia, and a lot more. I don't understand the logic in saying that birth control is such a bad thing. I just don't see it. Not at all. The Christians claim that it's because birth control is unnatural, it's against God, it's a sin to use birth control to prevent life. Here's the thing, if God is all-knowing, he knew that eventually we would invent some things that would stop us from giving birth, purposefully. Birth control. Condoms. Why doesn't he say so explicitly to uh, make it so that we can't use it, telling us that we can't use it? And said he just says it all vaguely in the Bible. It just doesn't make any sense. He's all knowing and he can easily see the stuff and he already knows the stuff. So why doesn't he say it back then for us in the future? Makes no sense. And they keep saying it's not a part of nature. It's unnatural. It's unnatural. God doesn't want us to do it because it's unnatural. Yada, yada, yada. As late great George Carlin said, The word natural is completely meaningless. Everything is natural. Nature includes everything. It's not just trees and flowers. A chemical company's toxic waste is completely natural. It's a part of nature. We are all part of nature. Everything is natural. And plus, what about condom? No one really talks about condoms. Not much, anyway. Condoms help prevent birth control and diseases to a point. And yet, you don't really hear much about it. Uh, excluding the Catholics, anyway. And yet, it does prevent pregnancies. And you don't hear much at all for it. You hear more about birth control. I'll tell you why. Men use condoms, and women use birth control. That's it. Mike Kelly, if you ever watch this video, which I doubt it, but if you do, how dare you complain about birth control being provided for free is equal to Pearl Harbor and 9-11. That's just messed up. That's just crazy talk right there. There's nothing at all resembling one another at all. Like I said, the two of them involve death and destruction of innocent people here in America. And one is providing women with a lack of pregnancies. One is providing women with... Uh, regulating her body, regulating her periods, helping with her body and everything because a woman is growing all the time. I just don't see it. It just makes no sense how you can say such things and get away with it pretty much. And you're not going to get away with it because myself and many others are going to start complaining about this. So do I see resemblance? Not at all. But I now do wish that Mike's parents used birth control 